Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to the shack. Today, another video on this damn 2017. I'm, st I'm starting to get burned out on making them, and I know you guys are getting sick of watching them. Anyway, we're going to talk a little bit as to why this SMA connector is actually breaking. Alright, first thing I want to show you, let's move this. Here is a broken connector out of a 2017. I put a new connector in for a local ham yesterday. His broken. He uh, got the connector and brought it by and I throwed it in and had him up and running in about about 30 minutes, I guess, or an hour or something. But anyway, we're going to measure... We're going to measure. See, this SMA, this thing is machined. And it's got threads on it. And it is, it is threaded. They've cut threads in it all the way to the base, all the way to here. When this one actually broke, there is still threads. There is still threads left on the base. There is maybe one or two little threads here left so it actually broke in the thread so with that being said we're going to measure we're going to see now I want to warn you my old my old mic is about it's measured about it's last day but let's see let's go to American type of numbers here no millimeter shit for us Alright guys, let's, let's see if we can measure here where she broke. Okay, here we go. Alright. We have about... 22 thousandths, roughly. About 22 thousandths is all that's... That's all the material that's there. That's it. There you have 22 thousandths, and any of you guys who know anything about machining or blah, 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 that's, that's, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's doomed, it's doomed from the start, we all know that. Anyway, now, the next theory is that this antenna, the base of it here, this red part that you see, bottoms out in the radio, and when you tighten it, it finished tightening it, that it's pulling this SMA out. Well, that is just, that doesn't happen, guys. And, and a little bit of, just a little bit of looking at it, and you would know that. Because this base, this bottom, this red part, this never touches the inside of this. It never touches the inside of this radio. And the reason being is, it bottoms out on the SMA connector before it ever gets to that point. This SMA is so tall, it bottoms out in the SMA before it ever gets there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that. Okay, that that's tight. Look what a gap you got here. Look, I mean, just a couple of threads, and she's out. She never, it never goes all the way to the bottom of this base. And to, we're going to put a little paint on this. And we're going to see if it's, if it um, touches the, the base inside the radio. Now I've swiped a little bit of paint from my, <laughs> from the wife's sewing room. We all know. The ladies' auxiliary is going to be. <laughs> They're going to be pissed. All right. We've got a little bit of paint on there. We're going to screw her down. All right. No paint. Paint. That's why I'm telling you. this. The bottom of this never touches the base of the radio it just doesn't 
It doesn't happen. No paint. Paint. You can see the paint on the red. I will wipe it off with my finger for you. You think it's something crazy, but yeah, this never touches the inside of this. It bottoms out on the SMA first. So, theory debunked. Now, is what's breaking this is these babies. They're just they're just too thin, guys. I don't know. I put so far. I've already replaced three. I did mine. I did a one for a ham yesterday, and I did one for a ham a couple days ago. These are just local guys that live here where I do, and they have the same radio. And with this same problem. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know if the ones they sent us is going to be any stronger than the ones we we um, came with the radio. Maybe there was a, a shit batch or something. I don't know. These, these SMAs. Now, my radio, when mine broke, I have an old... MD uh, 380 laying around that's just junk. It's trashed. It's been killed. And I took the SMA out of it and stuck it in my 2017 and didn't have no problems. And I used it great until I got the um, original one in. So I took that one back out and put the 2017 back in it. And I was hesitant to do that. And I still think it might be a mistake. So if this one breaks again... I'll take the um, MD380 connector and put back in it and leave it in there. So the MD380 connectors are almost completely identical other than the 2017. It's just a little bit tall. It's just a little bit longer. It's about man, maybe two or three millimeters longer than the, 20, than the um, 380. But... It worked great, you know, I could still put my antennas on, or I, I don't use this antenna at all. It's just so stiffy stiff. It's, I mean, it is just, it is stiffer than a wedding stick. It's just, it's stiff. I, I don't use it. I use one of these. So it's, you know, you can tell it's just flimsy as all shit out. So, and when mine originally broke, it had this on it. It had flimsy bob. So, you know, the wibble wobble left and right, that's not hurting. That, that, that's not what's, is what's causing these to break, in my opinion. That's just, you know, everybody's opinions are like, you know what, everybody's got one. Is what's causing these to break is, Screwing it on too tight, loosening up. Screwing it on too tight, loosening up. And when you do that, you are twisting this. This 20 thousandths. Back and forth. A little pressure over here and there. A little extra here, a little more there. It just keeps back and forth, back and forth until eventually it snaps. Bing! She's done. And I had the um, the guy that I replaced one for yesterday. His actually broke when he was taking his antenna off. So, you know, that's a breaking her. But, yeah, that's it. What can you say? It's Chinese made crap. So, I love the 2017 Awesome Radio. But the next radio that I buy will probably be maybe one of the new Alinkos. I, I've been looking at them. Man, they they are loaded with features, and they are, uh, one of them is uh, cheaper than the 2017. But, of course, it's just the UHF. It's not a dual band, unfortunately. So, give them some time, and we might get a dual band. I know there's other dual banders out there. But you know they are they are exactly what the 2017 is. They're they're cheap Chinese made dual banders. Then they are flooding the markets. And the bad thing about that is, 
cheap made stuff will push out good, awesome stuff. You know, well made stuff will be pushed out by the market being flooded by cheap crap. You know, it's, you know, price point, you know, everybody wants to save a buck, you know. How many antenna connectors have you heard breaking on one of the uh, Motorola radios? It, it's unheard of. You know, set them down and, you know, run them over with a Humvee and, you know, pick it up and, and talk on it. It, you know, they're, they're great, they're great radios. But anyway, that's my theory on why these are breaking. You have, you have no material. You've got 20 thousandths. That's holding this to the base. That's it. That's all you got, guys. So, you can do whatever you want to this. You can put washers in it. You can put glue in it. You can baby it. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, eventually it will probably break. But if you probably, if you put the antenna on and you leave it on, you don't over tighten it. You leave it on and don't take it off a whole lot and you don't over tighten it. That's the key. It will probably last you. It will probably be okay. But if I look, I've seen on the internet, TYT already has a repair video. <laughs> TY, listen. TYT has a repair video, guys. So that means the TYT factory are fixing a shit ton of these. They're fixing the hell out of this. And, you know, and you know, I worked for a Ford dealership for almost 15 years. You know, when something like that happened, you know, Ford would have a recall on it. And you know, bring it in and we would fix it, you know, free of charge for the customer. Of course, your Chinese are not going to do that. They are money hungry. They do not care. They don't care if yours breaks. They they could give two shits because they're going to go home in the evening and eat their cheese and rice and the hell with the rest of us. They have our hard earned, earned money and that's all they care about. Anyway, seven threes. Enjoy your evening and yeah, that's it, guys.